All right. Now that we've got our fixtures set up, we've got them patched, we've got them addressed, most likely your fixtures are all sitting at the zero point and not freaking out like the ones in my show are. Um, why is that? Well, I've got a console live on the network. It's actually an NX4 over there, and it's shooting out art in it to control the pixel strips over there. But regardless, we can show you here how to set up a console, how to set up a feed into Capture and get it working. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch Onyx and walk through just some of the basics here because this can be really helpful. So we're gonna launch Onyx and once it, once it launches here, I'm gonna create a new file um, because Onyx is actually able and hopefully other consoles in the future to literally import your patch from Capture. All right, so the first thing we do say we're in Onyx is we're gonna to go to our patch. We're gonna to go to import, scan over CITP. If CITP is on and working and happy, we will see stuff happen here. However, you do have to turn it on first. So we'll go over here into our menu, CITP, set it literally to any network interface um, that generally that they're both listening on. Like here I'm set to my 10 dot interface. Um, that's probably a USB ethernet adapter on this computer. I'm just gonna kick it on on my Wi-Fi and then we should see capture show up. If we don't, or on my, my not my Wi-Fi, but my actual network. If we don't, we can go over here to universes, to connectivity status. It's gonna tell us what it's seen and what it's not. Okay, it's not seeing what we're looking for. So we can go to more and connectivity options. By default, everything in here pretty much is set to automatic but you might find that some things are locked down to one interface. Like I've got SACN locked down for some reason. Um, maybe I had multiple streams at one point. Um, and it, you know, I could go ahead then and take my ArtNet and lock it down. CITP is set to automatic. It's not finding it right now, so I'm gonna lock it down. Okay, go ahead and close that up. It's gonna tell us we need to restart capture. So save, restart it. And then, haha, ha, Onyx gave me the, the CITP pop-up. We see it here in external universes. It's really that simple. Sending ArtNet or SCC in from any console will work the same way. You send it, typically, the universes are all gonna line up. Capture's gonna make its best guess. In this case, we also have ArtNet streaming from that console, and we can select those, and we can take any universe any way. So, universe A or one here in Capture, can patch to universe 60 from a console if need be. Most of the time it's one-to-one, -one, but in this case it doesn't have to be. With Onyx, with the CITP integration, we can then go ahead to our patch, to import, scan, and we're gonna see everything show up here and we're gonna be able to patch it automatically. You can see here, my fixtures all have fixture IDs because I entered a channel number in capture. Um, at least at the time of this recording, that channel number is critical because it it is the connection, the way that Onyx and Capture decide what fixtures what. They don't go off address. Um, they seem to go off the fixture ID, which is the channel in Capture. We could just hit import all, let it happen, close our, you can go to our patch now. You can see we've got all of our fixtures. And now we'll go ahead and put Onyx over in the other window. And I can literally go and select some of my lights. Oops. You see them selecting capture and I have full control from either side. So I can go ahead, for example, here, I'm gonna turn them on. I'm gonna move them, right? Beautiful. Beautiful stage wash before we shutter cut. But then I can also go and I can go here and capture, and any fixture, I get this power button. Okay, it allows me to adjust all my stuff, so I'm just gonna turn down, this is my ambient lighting in the room. I can adjust my color temp, and then I can start to frame, just with everybody at once, and get my wash really close. It's pretty amazing what all you can do in capture, and the beautiful thing of this CITP integration with Onyx is it's two-way. So I just made a shutter cut on all these fixtures, and now, guess what? It's in my programmer in Onyx. 
So that's the beautiful thing about this is you can actually do a lot of pre-programming. Um, I hope other consoles support this in the future. For now, as far as I know, it's just Onyx and it's pretty stinking awesome because I can literally record this to a queue now, clear it, everything follows, play it back. I get exactly what I have, including the shutter cut, which I made over on the capture file. Okay, like I said, um, if you're not in Onyx or you just want to control it the same way as regular light fixtures, um, you know, sometimes people on our channels kind of get like, hey, you're not controlling real lights, but how's it work with real lights? And it's like, well, actually, this is the same way because you just set up your console to send out Artnet or SACN, and then you select it here if it doesn't show up automatically. Again, connectivity status this window, huge help. It'll show you what's talking, what's not and then you're able to go and look at your connectivity options, maybe lock something to an IP address, unlock it. The biggest thing over the years of using Capture, and I think I first bought it in like 2012, is that if you're having issues getting your DMX to show up, start sending it from the console, then launch Capture. That seems to work just a little better if you're having trouble. Most people don't, um, but if you need any help, um, we help people every day with this inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs over at Above AVL. Um, and if you need Capture or lights or anything, and if you're in the US, though for Capture, you can technically be elsewhere, I believe, um, you can order right through our site and we have most Capture licenses in stock. We kick them right out. Upgrades take a minute longer, but we love to help you with any of that. Um, please do check out our website because, hey, you learned something new here today. You got it for free. Um, but we can't do this for free without, uh, you know, having a business on the side. So we appreciate your support. If you need to buy stuff, we'd love to be your place for it. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.